Whoa. Hey, guys. This doesn't look like Rome. Guys, I'm sick of Rome being not good, and it bothers me. It's a trial separation. Right? I, I, I'll be back when it gets its act together, all right? What's Warpath campaign? You're going to do Grand Campaign. I don't know what any of those are. Someone suggested that we have uh, uh, Uncle D. Marks, Rude Boy D. Marks, do an, an Empire run. I've been which, called the Rude Boy. Uh, old Boy D. Marks here. Old Dirty D. Marks. Yeah. Because I have never taken much time in Empire. I'm not very good at it. But D. Marks loves this time period, as do I, but he does more. And uh, we figured we would do this to show the audience what it's like and everything about it. This is literally his first time playing the game. Yeah, so we're going to learn a lot about ourselves. I'm in the middle of a pressure run. It's going all right. This game is somewhat difficult and a little more confusing, uh, but it's going to be a load of fun for you. And we, we will come back to Rome, but that game needs some serious patching because it's not okay right now. Is that Dutchland? The yeah, Dutch? United Provinces. That would be Holland. That Guys, as you may see, there's three different theaters, too. These all take place in one... And there's one... also, like, trade theaters, too? Yeah. These all take place in... This is the same game, dude. Like... Yeah. It's not like... A... It's not like sometimes you're there, there, there. It's all happening at the same time. Yeah, I know. I'm telling them. Oh, right. So it's like you essentially have three battle maps per one game. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. So let's let's look at what everything we got. You got... Guys, there's a very small amount of civs, too, and you want them to be more. Yeah, but these are the main players at the time. Yeah. All right. So you have... The Gert Burton. The Gert Burtons. They got some. They got all of Great Britain, and they have some Upper Canada crap. Yeah, Upper Canada crap. You got the French. They've got all of France and France. Upper Canada crap. They got the Quebecois, Austria. You got Austria. You got their little empire. You got the Dutch. Oh, look at that! They have Sri Lanka. That's neat. They also have a. Uh... Oh yeah, up here. You know, yeah. What's Macaulay? Which Macaulay is right. Guiana, I think that would be. You got good old Spain. They got everything you like. They have a shockingly large amount of Italy. Yeah, look at that whole boot. What's that, that all about? Is that something that this happened? Part? Uh, probably. I, I'm not a history major. It's probably an alliance thing, you know? Uh, yeah. Is uh, it Prussia? They got Prussia. They got some crap. Poland. Poland. Lithuanian you do enjoy Poland as a country. The Ottomans, they got a lot of stuff. They're doing great right now. They wouldn't have any Indian territory. I'm also surprised at that. Russia, Your, uh, Russies, Sweden, Swedes. Who I said I, I was what? Oh, I clicked. I clicked too fast, and I was like, "What do you mean Sweden has any Indian territory? <laughs> that doesn't make a lick of sense." Doesn't make a lick of sense. Um, uh, I'll be honest. It's probably between. See what I hate about this. Is that there's no, like, uh, it doesn't tell you what the unit, what the, uh... Yeah, it doesn't give you a special unit, but that's because I think a lot of the things are similar. I do, I do too, and that's kind of, it's kind of a little... Everything naked. has their own unique stuff, but the main forces are are very similar. Because everyone has, like, line infantry. And that makes sense because of the time period, but it just, I would have liked it I to be I think they different. tried to replace uh, unique units with a with a unique battle environment, like the, uh, like the whole three maps and everything. I think they're trying to make unique runs based on that more. Yeah, but it compared to just... Shogun, it's a lot of stuff too. Uh, and the other key is, guys, there's a lot of uh, things based off provinces. Yeah, like there's a lot of units you get just by territory that yeah. are unique. As I'm gonna play to... the Dutch. What? Because they got one in every map, and I like that. It'll give me a, it'll give me a challenge, you know. Well, luckily you are. It's a good time for a challenge. Can you get a gameplay options real quick. It's a good time for a challenge because it's the first time you've played. You're gonna turn visor health way off. Yeah. Uh, guys, we're. Contra I'm not CPU sure. Moves, automatic, yeah, that's all. I'm good. not sure if we're gonna get that far in this game. We're gonna see how we like it. But we're not gonna jump into this relationship. We're just gonna see where it takes us. That's why we're Dutch. The Dutch the, is a bold choice. Okay? I would say that we're going Dutch. Uh, yeah, I would say I'm gonna give you the, du of the you Dutch oven us. here. So I have to teach you a little bit how to play too, because there's some major differences, but not a lot. I was originally more confused than I thought I'd be, and. Uh, it's it's not as confusing as I thought. Your yeah, I mean, priority but we turned you off. No, this is just your start thing. Who are seeking to destroy Protestantism and restore <laughs> superstition and fear. Oh, here we go. All right. Okay. So let's before we, before you say anything, let's okay. just take a look. Here we are. We got Amsterdam. That's us. We're great. You got everyone's favorite guy, uh, Hendrik Nassau van Oudrich. Over there. And then here you've got everyone's favorite, Hendrik von Fleshevier. That's the same guy. You got Ben Franklin. You got a boat. 
with everyone's favorite Philip Philipson. Uh, Phil Phillips, the guy in American Idol. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. All right, so. All right. Then, let's take a journey over to India, where the Dutch. Can we? I get it. You're Philip Philip Phillips. All right. Uh, then you got a nice little fort here in a place I can't read. I'm assuming that's Koala Super Lampor. Yeah, it's a little hard to read in our giant TV, guys. I would tell you too, but it's yeah, it's just too small. And then in America, sorry, then in America, click. click. What? Yeah, that way you can do it a little faster. I think oh, that works. We have the Guiana. These are Spain. Good old we got new some Spain. Dutch boats. There is New Spain this guy in this game. Oh, we got a little, we got a little island here. We got a little island here. Okay, well I'm actually gonna. Yeah, I guess it's another. I guess it's another province. Yeah, it is. All right. So, uh, it, can I explain stuff yet? Uh, yeah. Although I will tell you stuff that I do know, so you don't waste okay, your breath. Okay. Great. Great idea. I know that you don't. You can build stuff in like these little. Do hickeys here as opposed to doing it all from the. Uh, That's very important. Yeah. You actually cannot do it all from there. Yeah. You actually must do it from these do hickeys. Yeah, so yeah. That's something I didn't know. Yeah. And that's pretty much the only thing I think is. Okay. Name. So, like you said, there's all that stuff. Now, here's something important. Uh, in your bottom right, those things, the second bottom one right. is a research tab. Oh, right. There's that's research. That's the third tab. Second one. Yeah. And so, here's the deal you see, you have a building there. That is the college or the school in which learns about stuff. Eventually, as you get more provinces, you can get multiple of those, which will all research things independently. Oh, that's cool. Which is really cool, and I like that a lot. Uh, those are all things. Most of them are actually military techniques, which is kind of important. Uh, your best – there's a lot of there's a lot of things like that. Yeah, this tells you what everything leads to. Yeah, like this is your agriculture and, and industry stuff. This is your This is your social reforms and government stuff. This stuff comes up a lot, specifically for upgrading your colleges. I was about to say, it looks like it upgrades colleges, so we're going to get that going. Yeah, that's a good call. Do uh, we have... Yeah, we just have the yeah. the School of Uruk. And also, as your cities grow, there is potential they will spawn more of those buildings. I don't know how that's arranged, but they spawn more buildings. Uh, units are recruited the same way they are in every other game. this guy? Oh, yeah. So you have rakes and you have gentlemen. Gentlemen uh, can do duels, but they can also, like, go into towns. Rakes are like spies. Yeah. Which is pretty obvious. Oh, they do research stuff, too, as I recall. Yeah, you can also put them in buildings to do research. So or, gonna... or you can put them in anything. Uh-huh. See? Note that you have a guy uh-huh. on there. Uh-huh. Yeah, people are gonna people are going to talk in a funny language that you don't know. All right, then you got, then you got the Scarlet Pimpernel. Scarlet Pimpernel. All right. Uh, what kind of units do you got on you? Anything cool? Sorry, what? Like, what what army do you have? Oh. Do you have any army? Yeah. You got some provincial cav, some cannons, some line infantry, some pikemen. A real splattering. Some militia, some boats. Oh, you have a bunch of stuff to upgrade there, too, that you can do. Yeah. Note, whenever there's a spinning hammer above a thing, that means you can upgrade it right now. Right now. And it would be clicking on this. Yeah, take note that you have your money on the bottom right, and that is the year. Yeah, it is not year. how much money you're making next turn, which I thought for at least 200 years. Oh, yeah, and this is the uh, this is trade stuff. I don't know anything about this at all. I don't either, but <laughs> I know that it is a thing that exists. I guess if you put a boat there, you win a million dollars. Well, I don't know how you would put a boat here, because you can sell no way there. to... Uh, yeah, but how... That's a that's a question for another day. Well, yeah. All right, so we're going to go... First, let's go to our new world holdings. See what's going on. You got this pirate. I don't much care for pirates, <laughs> although he does have three boats and I only have two boats. It's unless this guy's a boat. He's a boat. Okay. He's the son of the waves, uh, which I really appreciate. He's a sailor from birth. And he's also a uh, Caribbean Sea. Also, uh, his name is Gerard, which I feel is a strong name. Kalambag. All right. Uh, yes. I'm going to send you... Yeah, because you... Like, we got we to gotta start off with some goals here, dude. I'm going to investigate this Brazil. This Brazilness. So you're going to go here. That was simple. Yeah. 
Uh, press space for me. Yeah. Uh, I forgot toggles. Yes, All right, it's a toggle situation. And who are you guys? The Windward Islands. Oh, France. French. Are you at war with anyone right now? Yeah, I was also going to check that. Uh, yes. Pirates and Barbary states, so no. Yeah, so not really. Trade <laughs> partners with Britain, the Caribbean Sea, the Mughals, the Marathas, and Great Britain. Okay, this is very important, and we need to talk about it almost immediately, too. Click on the big building icon on the bottom right. Not the watch. Don't ever click on that watch. Oh, that's the turn. Yeah, it's the smallest and most dumb button. Uh, policies. This is important. You have to appease both uh, noble classes and lower classes. In this one, it's middle class. It depends on your type of government. Okay. But these things do things I- independently of each other. If you have like a lot of lower class uh, anger, they'll uh, try and get reforms going on. Okay. So like, you can lower taxes for, for lower class people to make them less mad. Uh, reform isn't necessarily a bad thing. Oh, and this is only for. This is only for yeah. It's only for America. I think I can do it each an individual. That's probably true. Theater. Yeah, that's probably true. It's also true. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take note. There's a bunch of crap. Good old William. Yeah. Can we go to you? He's probably a king. He's probably not a unit. That, that I'm not okay with. I like it when they're units. I know. Unfortunately, there's a lot of actual politicians in this game. All right, so we've accomplished our first goal of setting this one guy on the boat to Boatland, Brazil. Right. But what else are we going to do? Probably build some stuff. Yeah. I'm it like, depends on what theater you want to focus on militarily. I feel like I, as the Dutch, I kind of want to get my economy on. You know. Well, that, well then do it. That's your sugar cube islands. Yeah, naturally. I need physiology before I can get that. Can up this lumber camp. Anything you see a hammer on, you can upgrade. Because the thing is, sometimes there'll be things, like that other thing you need physiology for or whatever, it'll still show that icon there, even though you can do it, which bothers me. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like yeah, you th- you want it to like go away and be like, yeah, do it, but no, it still shows it. Oh, hey, yeah, I, I was about to say, can I upgrade this? Because that would be useful. All right, we'll get our, our new... Peasant farms. Everyone loves those. Yeah, you're going to need those. Who are we surrounded by? Westphalia. Westphalia. Who are douchebags. Spain. I got this this rakish rogue here. Yeah. He's raking in the ladies, I assume. Uh, yeah, that's why they're named that. Oh, yeah, get those gem fields going. All right, so this is a missionary. Yeah, missionaries do something. Take note that your city can upgrade a bunch of stuff right now. Oh, yeah, look at all that. I think they're called provinces, actually. All right, here's what I want you to do. Boat. Go over here, then you get in the boat. Then you go over here, and then you get out of the boat. Yes. Very good. Very good. Is that a balloon? Are you guys harvesting balloons over there? Uh, no, chili peppers. I think it's gems. I think it's marbles. Oh, this? No. That, I don't know what that is. I think this is gems. I think that's marital aids. Oh, yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, but... Take note, you can upgrade all those things to things that are confusing. Yeah, take a look here. All right, so army, army encampment. encampment. It goes to a barracks. Oh, yeah, do we have any army here? Not really, so I'm going to want to get a little... Oh, VOC infantry, that's awesome. I don't know what that is. It's, uh, it's the Dutch East Indies Company. Oh, awesome. Dude, right-click that upgrade. I was wondering what... All right, so... Line infantry. Set, set boys. boys. Yeah, we're going to get that going. <laughs> this is a cannon foundry. I don't have enough money for any of this. You've uh, spent a lot of money this turn. No, no I, I realize that. I mean, but I really you, like the idea of uh, infrastructure. Yeah. There's, that's where you'd build roads and stuff. It's basically just roads. Set, yeah, set boys, that's awesome. Yeah, VOC VOC is the Dutch name for the uh, East Indian Company. I'm way on board with that. I want no, you to know that. super on board. <laughs> uh, at this point, I don't think you have too much else to do. There is national prestige, which I don't know what that matters okay, this for. Is not, uh, oh, this is cool. It tells you what you would need to. Well, conquer. you need a lot of stuff. I already have the Netherlands. Uh, that these four areas. Oh, this is Ceylon. That's what this is. And the Dutch Guiana. I was totally right about it being Guiana. All right, next turn. Yeah. That that was a tough one. I missed it the first time. I'll admit it. Turns going by fast though. Faster <laughs> than F in Rome, which I'm I'm like seriously. It's like it cheated on me with with my best friend. 
I'm so upset that doesn't run good. It's never going to be okay. Like, I, I've lost you, all you've, hope. You've been hurt too much. I've really been hurt a lot. I don't think it's ever going to be okay. Guys, anyway, we're, we're sorry for those of you who had to... We'll come back to it one day. What's going on? Oh, how does that say? Great job. You nailed it. Trade route raided. You pirate scum. Did the straight... Oh, straight of Madagascar? Come on. I like that trade route. I don't got boats. <laughs> F you. All right. So we have $4,300 and an army. Uh, oh, that is upgrading. Okay. Or is it upgraded? Oh, that's telling you what... Okay. Sorry, guys. We're learning. Okay. So... We could build a House of Representatives, which would do some stuff. Allows me to build con con conscripts and militias. And militias? Alright, so. You guys are not allowed to get mad. I'm still learning. <laughs> I like the idea, of, the idea of getting some roads. What do you? Oh, is this growth? I actually don't know what that is. I'm assuming growth would be a very safe bet. Yeah, has a tendency to be what that means in the other games. Yeah. Yep. Everyone needs roads, even if you're on a very small island. Is there a cart around the island? What you guys got going on colonial militia. That's the best kind. Uh, all right. I want to say I'm going to save my money and build a settlement fortification next turn. So we're going to hit. Uh, okay, hit the next turn. Whee! Oh God, where are we going? I've disappeared. The into Bermuda Bra rectangle. I've disappeared into Brazil somehow. This sucks. <laughs> Everything yeah, blows. Very surprised you picked the Dutch, but I'm pleased. Well, like I said, the Dutch are cool. The Dutch are cool. Well, man. like I said, I like the idea that they have every they start in every theater. So I'm kind of, I'm way into that. Agent assassinated my no. rake. Not my rake. What's How you now? Gonna, my lawn is going to be all kinds of nonsense. Got leaves everywhere. Captain Kids effing it up in the seas, dude. What an effort. Traits gained. It's got a lot of endurance. A test of endurance. That guy's got a mistress, so we're all we all made it. <laughs> Plus one happiness and nobility because this guy is a mistress. Do you see that winch? All right, Prussia and Austria are already declaring war. That's fine. Buildings constructed already being constructed. Fleet arrives. Oh, nice. All right, so you sail here. Yeah, note Navy. that's a new icon now. That was an icon before. All right, Navy contains. No, now it's a now when you're mousing over it, it's a join icon over the dock, so it definitely does something else. Oh. I guess I need trade boats, which are things. I just try docking it, dude. They're they're doing it. Yeah, I don't. Th I think I need to build trade boats somehow. Why don't you think anything's happening? Cause, like it says, this navy contains no trade ships. To create a trade route, move one of your trade ships. Okay. So I'm gonna say I need some trade ships. All right, that was some good. You really thought about it. Yeah. So, guys, did you like Brazil? Because you're going back. Also, take note that in your research tree, there is specifically naval research. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at that. It's the second icon. Yes, it is. Yeah, naval's all the way to the right of that first screen. Oh, yeah. Because I'm probably going to need... That's for s storing facilities? Flintlock Flint cannons, cannon, seasonings, seasonings, and a sextant. That's, that's your most sexy upgrade right now. It's possible you can already recruit them. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, so get out of my face. Leave <laughs> you, me alone. You just have to select a port. As opposed to a city. Like that port. That doesn't belong to me. Like that port, I meant. Naval recru Ooh, recruitment. All right. You got flute, of course. Your flutes, uh, brigs, Brig, sloops, sloops, and trade ships. Indiamans. I'm way down with that. All right, 
First of all, I promised these guys here in a place I can't read, the Dominican Republic, that I'd build them a, a thing. So I will do that. Looks as, like Paola? Whatever. I but I, I made good on that on that threat to build them a, a settlement. All right, so you're going to get yourself What upgrade some... do they need to make a better port there? Uh, it's a commercial port, of course. No, that that wasn't actually the... Uh, oh. Uh, Division of, of Labor. Labor. All right, whatever that is. All right. Oh, I can't build these. He uh, can. What's this symbol up here? Symbol is it's a boat. I have no idea what that symbol means. But it, I, it doesn't mean... Oh, nothing. I think these mean they're trade boats. I think fluids are trade boats, too. Ye... That says a merchant man. Yes. So I would I... still go Indian men on this one. But, but flutes are like a million dollars compared uh, to Indian men who aren't. I know, but I don't think he... I guess one's a more battle-ready version. Yeah, I think so, too. But one of them takes less time, too. But I'm going to build a trade f fleet. I respect that. I respect that a lot. Uh, I think that's good. I don't have any more money. Anyway, Tom, how's it going? <laughs> good. Uh, how do you like the game so far? I, mean, I haven't really done anything, but it's all right. <laughs> I'm seeing how it goes. Okay. Uh, everything's good over here. I'm super jazzed. It's a Friday night. Yeah, dude. It's, it's ladies' night. Uh, every day's ladies' night when you're a lady man. What? Lady boy? What's the term I'm looking for? Ladies' man. Oops. It's been an intellectual advance. He did it. Oh, I nailed it. You know what that means. New school. Dude, way to be on top of that. That was the whole reason I researched it. All right, so we're building a social contract. Where's my Department of Labor? It's probably the first thing. No, I meant the first thing on that screen. Sorry. You think it's agriculture? I would have said textile industry. Wait, what do you need Department of Labor for? Uh, to upgrade more boats. So maybe... Are you sure that's what it said? Pretty certain. I'll go double check. Unless it's over here, which it might be. Yeah, Division of Labor. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so you need I, all three of them to get to the next level, of course. So I need to research the North Sea. <laughs> oh, physiology. Actually, I need physiology for some of my other upgrades, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. Uh, don't be scared to take out some of these losers like Westphalia who are keeping you from more land. I do like land. But Just take note that uh, if you go to the uh, the, sec the the building button. Yeah. Sorry, no, go to the diplomacy button. It's the first button. Uh, you have major nations and you have minor nations. And essentially, minor nations can suck on the D because these are all garbage nations that can go straight to H. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Because they're like one or they like one or two things. I wonder why it says they're all red. Their attitude for them is probably pretty poor. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. That screen is vastly better than any other screen from any, like any other diplomacy screen from any other Total War game. You can build yourself some new cannons. Not not into cannons right now. We're gonna keep working in. Cannons. Oh, here's the thing about this game: cavalry is wildly too good. Like the, like in my Prussia campaign, which I'm doing right now, guys, I basically have this one group of like five of the first level uh, cavalry, and I they take cities by themselves because they just don't they don't even care about anything. I think we can all appreciate that. Hey. Yeah, I, that's what I said, too. All right, so if I want to do an agent, um, agent task, where would I do that, do you well, think? Well, are you selecting a city or something? I would assume I could have just... Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's uh, spreading that word, dude. He's also apparently a spy. So, d dig it. Touched by his hand. And faith reaffirmed. I was worried about his faith being affirmed or not. Yeah, well, you know what? We all were a little worried about that. But his religious zeal is, is attribute It's through the roof. It's through the roof. It's through the roof. Yeah, I guess you guys don't really do anything aside from chill out. I guess that's cool. They might be converting. Oh, wait. This is the symbol here. I'm sure that's sure that's important. Means you got a guy there. Means you have a religious guy there. Well, it means probably means he's converting someone. Who knows, dude? That's the mysteries. Okay, so here's what I am gonna do. Tell us, sister. You guys, you're gonna go 
to the Strait of Madagascar to kill... Some of them funny animals. What, is that not what you're going to say? Uh, something like that, yeah. Because right. you're going to kill those pirates who are pirating up my pirates, pirates. Because I don't appreciate that. Yeah, da. I don't appreciate that. I respect that. <laughs> I'll never remember what that's from. I don't think anyone will, because it doesn't make any sense. And never oh, so really. Australia's not even in this game. Yeah, I don't think they said on Australia until the 1800s. Really? Yeah, I think it was really later compared Guys, because my secret dream was to play as Mexico or Australia, and apparently Australia isn't in the game, and Mexico is not selectable. Which is really the best of both worlds. I gotta imagine Mexico would be a ton of fun. Though. Three color printing, yo! We got black, we got light black, and we got white. Unit recruited, the fleet. Uh, where's my right, flute? right there. There we go. Navy. Aren't you making more boats than that? Uh, yeah, they're they're still going. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, huh. these guys will be done soon. I respect that deeply. Respect those boats. Oh yeah, you're back. So uh, you want to hang out, boat? Don't really. Yeah, have you're gonna chill over here. You're making a lot of money a turn already. Dude. I'm the Dutch. It's it's true, though. That's the weird part about that. Dude, I know someone who's Dutch. I see him typing it sometimes, and I'm just like, what? I wish I spoke Dutch. Wait, really? Yeah. Like in real life? Yeah. They ty You can type Dutch? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. You can type any language, I guess. I gotta imagine they gotta accommodate that, you know? Some... Not sp spoken language. A language that's only ever been spoken. Which probably exists. Yeah, I mean, Cherokee language wasn't spoken for a very long time. I mean, it wasn't or was it Iroquois? Dude, who knows? Those idiots are crazy. Well, the, um, the invention of... I think it was Iroquois language is fairly recent. Like, the, uh... Like, they know who invented Cher or Cherokee script or whoever it was. Is it Bill Cherokee? Yeah, it was Bill Cherokee. That's was it, how they got uh, the was, it was it Chief Grand Cherokee? It's Chief Grand Cherokee. <laughs> no, but you can look it up. It's actually, it's a real, it's a real fact. Oh, crap. Is the earth actually on a wooden board? Oh, oh I didn't even notice God, that. God, we're dead. This gravity thing's a lie. Fleet arrives. All right, so you guys are going to rough up some pirates. Uh, no, uh, no, you're not going to rough up some okay, pirates. Okay, those units might be garbage, though. But I can't risk that. Why not? What else you got to do? Okay, so you shouldn't have risked that. If I knew yeah. how to do naval battles, I would guide you through it, but I really am not. Yeah, just, just, just sail on back. Sail on, you crazy diamond. Those guys are... Wait, was that Captain Kidd? Is that why he was so strong? No, it's... Pit... Pit Reveal? I don't know. You whatever. Can't right, you can't right-click that guy? Whatever it, no, whatever it is, he's doing great. He's that living, guy nailed it. He's living the life of a pirate. Yeah, he is. Alright, you guys are ready for your... Yeah, give me that deep gem shaft. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Put that gem shaft right in there. Deep gem shaft. That's a deep gem shaft. All right, you guys are still working on these boats. Really taking their time with these boats. Dude, boat making is not an easy process. I would agree with that. You guys are still doing okay. All right, so I think the only thing I have... You're right to say that... Yeah, I really do think this is Yeah, growth. I would agree with you. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. You guys just chill out for right now. They're, they're already chilling out. Well, continue the chilling. Then what you guys are going to do is you're going to sail down here. The... Ivory Coast. Oh, right. We don't have the Suez Canal, so this is going to take a long time. <laughs> Enjoy that, though. It's a long boat. Hopefully we won't be attacked by any Navy while you're gone, because you guys are like literally the only ones I have. Oh, right. We don't have the Suez Canal. Is something you've only ever heard once in your life, and this was the time. 
I mean, it, it, I am not wrong. We You're don't have the wrong. Suez Canal. It's going to take them a long time because they got to drive all the way around the Horn of Africa. Guys, you're going to have to wait a whole two days probably until you see what happens to those guys. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll, we'll see you on the next episode.